Well, I'm a mom. I have three little boys. And so, of course, because I write about my life and about what I learn in life and just experiences, I always love to write songs for my kids or about my kids. But one day, I wasn't necessarily going to write a, a new song about them, although I, although I love to. One day I was riding home from school with my son Sam, who was eight. I think at the time he was probably seven, or six or seven. And he said to me, Mom, if when I grow up, do you think that there will be houses for sale in our neighborhood? And I said, well, I'm sure that there'll be some houses for sale in our neighborhood. And he said, well, good, because I'm going to buy one and live right next door to you. And that just blessed my heart so much that here's my little son thinking when he's an adult he wants to live right next door to his mom. He knows he can't live with me, <laughs> but he knows he can live right next door to me. And it just inspired a thought in me as I was driving in the car and I thought, you know, he has a choice in life um, to move on and do his thing and to go explore the world and you know, do all of those things. He'll have those choices and he'll have that tendency to leave and cleave to a new life. Um, but I, as his mother, have no choice in my love for him. I, ha I have something embedded in my heart that's God-given, that God gives the mother. And as I was thinking about it more, I was reminded of the verse in Isaiah chapter 49 where you know, God is saying, can a mother forget her child and, you know, not have compassion on the son that she bore? And so the lyric in the song that says, my longing for you is that you'll know love more profound than this one, is just saying to my child, is saying to my child that my deepest desire in their life and all of the things that they want to achieve and all of the successes that they hope for is that they'll know, they'll know a love deeper than the one I have for them.